Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get started with smudge painting right inside of Photoshop. Now, the smudge painting technique is not something that's actually really for the lazy ones who really don't know how to draw or people who don't even want to stress yourself on how to draw. Now, I get to understand that we are human beings and not every one of us wish to go through the same process as every other. Now, some people just like creating things the simple way and why some people, they like mixing up two techniques together, trying to achieve something. And most times, the smudge painting technique comes up through the clients you deal with. Like in my country, most people find it difficult paying a huge amount of money for you to paint a portrait for them or for you just to make an artwork for them. Now, I guess understand that in some other countries, some like Europe and so on, it is so easy for you to create a commission network at a rate of fifty, hundred dollars and above. But in my country, no one is willing to pay you somewhere around fifty dollars for you to just create a network. Just artwork that is gonna take a couple of time and won't even fetch them money. So they prefer instead of spending money in creating a network and making you end through your own work, they prefer spending that money in something else. And that's why most people or most artists in my country always try to make use of this smudge painting because the moment you keep spending a lot on artworks, you keep buying materials and things you were using to create a network, and you're not getting your income, you get discouraged and you just put aside your career of being a Nazi. So that's why most people actually switch to smudge painting and so on. While me creating an artwork or creating art doesn't really depend on me having commissions and so on. It just really depends on what I do because I really love creating art and it's not something I always do to just earn from it and so on. That's why I keep making art. But for those who really want to and from art and you find it difficult trying to get your clients to pay your required um, prices, which is definitely a big problem in my country. So most of them decide to switch to smudge painting because smudge painting take less time than the digital painting itself. So today, since I've understand all those stuff and I really get to meet some people who really ask me to try to create videos on smudge painting and some people always say that um, the main digital painting technique takes so much time to paint and not everybody will want to pay for that time and so on. So I decide to go into smudge painting and to teach you guys how to create a nice smudge painting that we actually look like a digital painting with some of the materials present in Photoshop. Now, actually, we won't be making use of any plugin throughout and so on. So now this video, I'm going to walk you guys through of things you are really going to need to get started with smudge painting right inside of Photoshop. Now, you should know we won't be creating any smudge painting right here. Just go through the basic things you will need. If you want a basic intro of how you can get started with Photoshop, that is if you are new into Photoshop, I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you are going to get a basic introduction to Photoshop and how you can get started with Photoshop as a digital artist. And yeah, that's all we are really going to be checking right now. So getting right into smudge painting in Photoshop, you get to need some things and you have to be aware of some things. First of all, you need to know your canvas size you are working on. That is one of the important things you really need to know when you are creating a smudge painting. Now, if you are creating a digital painting, you can actually paint on the same size as your photo. But if you are creating a smudge painting, you want to go ahead and start making use of a high res document which you actually going to be using. So first, I'm going to walk you guys through my own I'm going to be walking you guys through my own document setup when I'm smudging or generally the document document setup I use whenever I want to paint. So first thing I always do, I go over to file and new, create a new document. And when this window pop up, my sessions is always 2480 by 3508 pixels and the resolution is set to 600. That's why most of my artwork are very, very high and um, it's always in HD version. And 
setting is always on pixel per inch rgb colors and recently i started making use of the pro rgb the color profile which you can see right here so if it's a little bit different from yours you can click down on this drop down menu and select the working rgb now sometimes we always have some issues with the colors whenever we finish working on our artwork then we will save and upload to instagram we'll find out that i'll have some kind of errors and so on well i'm not really going to explain that right now but that's the main reason why i switched my color mode from the working rgb to the pro r to the pro photo rgb so once you're done with this set you just want to hit on create so i'm going to cancel this because that is the settings i always make use of and even with the document i have right here is the same settings when you go to image and you go to image size you get to see if i set that to pixels you get to see that it's the same document size so i'm going to click ok on that so the next thing you want to be looking at which you'll be needing you need to get a brush pack i already give out this brush pack um somewhere around a couple of months back but i'm also going to leave a link in the description to where you can actually get this brush pack right now this is my brush pack but before the brush pack i give out is something that's just a minor that just consists of the smooth skin smart brush right inside of photoshop so this brush pack consists of all the brushes i use right inside of photoshop and everyone is supporting the pressure sensitivity option which you can find right there now if you already have this brush pack no need to worry you also have everything right here which we are going to be using for the smudge painting and so on so now when you scroll down you get to see that we have several brushes we have two smudge brush right here we have the smudge one and we have the smooth skin smudge brush we also have this smudge brush right here now in throughout this brush pile we we'll hardly make use of every other brush we have right here but mainly we're making use of this smooth skin smooth smudge brush right here which will be used to smudging the skin to get that smooth effect and so on then some other several brushes which we can be making use of right here and something else i got a brush which is about of $15 brushes which is right here and this is really going to be helpful to you guys for you to create a realistic skin because one thing about the smudge painting is that the skin they always create is always a plastic skin so we need to add textures to it so that it will really look so cool and realistic when we are done so right here inside the skin I have these textures and these textures frequent pores and so on which we can use to add up which we can use to make our skin look so much realistic and so on i've done that um i used this technique on one of my latest smudge painting which i did but i really don't have that as work right here on my mac it's just in my pc so i just really can't show you guys that so we have all this right here and there are some other things which i'll be showing you guys when we get along in creating other stuff but those are actually your plugins but these are the ones which you can really really get for free that is really important most especially the brush which is right here that is always free which you can use and the next thing you want to do you want to learn how to make use of some filters like the most important you want to learn how to make use of the high pass filter which is right here inside the other good filter and others you want to learn how to make use of the high pass filter so that you can use it to sharpen your image before you start smudging and if you like making use of a plugin i'm going to recommend that you make use of the nick collection and you make use of the hd arrow like filter inside of the nick collection because it's one of the things that's so much good and cool but i'll be keeping everything so much simple so that everyone can follow along without stressing yourself or trying to spend one cash or the other to get one plugin or one thing or the other that you are really going to be needing in photoshop and there are some other technique i'll be really showing you guys now one thing about smudge painting it's that if you are into photo editing you get to apply some skills which you use in photo editing into your smudge painting effect now most people really don't get all those techniques so these are all the things i'll be teaching you guys on how you can use to smudge to create a smudge painting that is really really going to look realistic and so much nice so the high press filter is something we are really going to need the next thing is the oil painting effect now it is very very important now most times most people use this oil painting filter in a way that it's so much harsh on your photo and 
we really, really don't want that to happen on ours. So the problem here now is that the oil painting, it's not available on everybody PC because of your PC specs and so on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another video showing you guys how to make use of the oil painting. Now we're going to get an external plugin, which is absolutely free. So I'm going to get a plugin, create a video, show you guys how to install it and show you guys how to make use of that plugin right in Photoshop. We are a substitute of the oil painting effect. So the oil painting effect, the oil painting filter, it's something we are really going to be needing. And one last thing really get to know is the version of the Photoshop. Now the version of the Photoshop doesn't really matter. You can make use of Photoshop 18 and even up to CS6 to create a smudge painting. But most times the reason why we update our software is just for us to get um, things done quick and for us to get some advanced options which we can really make use of to achieve something so much nice in our artwork and so on and next thing you need to get a background and i guess i'll be sharing some background to you guys which you are really going to be using we are we're going to be getting some backgrounds which is really going to be nice on our artwork and i already make a video on how you can actually blur a background in a more realistic way that is really going to blend with your photo and so on there are so many techniques you are really going to learn Towards the journey of these our smudge painting, which I know it's really going to be awesome for you guys to get along. And I promise you, you will never ever regret getting along in this journey. So that is all which I'll be showing you guys. Every other thing which I forgot right here. Um, we are going to get along with all those stuff when we start smudging and so on. There is nothing which you can really know. But like smudging in Photoshop is something basic and so easy for even the beginner to follow along and to tag along so that brings us to the end of this video and if you want to learn how to smudge and you want to speed up that the smudging technique and want to stand out with your smudge painting make sure to hit that subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i'll be posting every